The anxiety disorders are the most prevalent category of uh, mental disorder. Despite this, it's been more than 50 years since the benzodiazepines, the only effective therapeutic that we currently have for anxiety, were first launched in 1963. For these 50 years, scientists have been using rodent preclinical research to try to identify new drug targets and new drugs. And yet this effort has largely failed. I observed that flies followed walls, a behavior that is reminiscent of similar behavior in rodents. Wall following behavior in rodents has long been linked to anxiety. I hypothesized that fly wall following was also related to anxiety. We use manipulations that are known to influence anxiety in rodents and found that they produced very similar concordant effects on fly anxiety, thus verifying our hypothesis. Now that we have a fly model of anxiety, there are five major advantages. They're faster, cheaper, the genetic tools are better, the brain is smaller, and fifth, flies allow us to use much larger sample sizes, which yield more reliable results. So what are the outstanding questions that can now be answered with our fly model? And I think one of the biggest ones is the serotonin paradox. It's clear that the serotonin-based drugs are not effective on emotional disorders, and yet it's very clear from our work and work done in rodents that serotonin has a huge effect on emotional behavior.